video we are going to see how to install Xcode on your MacBook. Uh, so we have two methods available, one from App Store uh, and the second one is from the developer side. Uh, so while uh, downloading Xcode from uh, App Store, it shows problem why uh, like it doesn't complete the download. Uh, like it stuck after completing 75% sometime after 50% so even I faced this issue and I was trying to uh, download the Xcode from App Store only initially first way to do to get this done the Xcode download and we'll go to the App Store first and over here you need to have your Apple ID created if you don't have then create one it will just ask for basic information your email username needs to be created and the password you need to enter and after that you just search it over here Xcode and uh, you just need to click on this icon over here and but I will not recommend you guys to download Xcode from this app store reason is as I explained it might stuck somewhere it I mean you have to try a couple of times to get this done uh, it could be two times three times like even for me it was not working so I had to find another way to get this uh, download done so I'm, I'm gonna stop this and we'll see the another option which would be easy for you to track your uh, track your progress basically like how much it's been done and you could see uh, but over here on app store it won't be visible so let's stop this so the other method is to download Xcode from the developer site, Apple developer site. So will you need to open one of your um, browser and we'll go to this link uh, on HTTP, HTTPS developer.apple.com slash download slash more. Let's click this. <coughs> so you need to create your apple id over here again or you need to use the same one and we're gonna log in so it brings you to this page over here you have your software list which you can uh, download so the one i'm gonna use is xcode 11.7 its size is approx 7.5 gb and you can download another versions as well like just see this is the latest one and its size is 10 GB so uh, and another thing is I've opened this in Chrome browser like it was easy to track it over here the progress and I could resume and uh, stop pause and resume my download if I need to uh, so let's click on this one <clears throat> so it will start your download over here and we'll see in the downloads so you can pause it and resume it uh, so have I have this Xcode already downloaded we'll go to that one mm, it's in download folders so yeah it would be something like this you need to double click on this zip so it will be verifying the digital signature like the like it will check if you have downloaded it from its apps or only or from some other random website so it will do some checking and accordingly it will proceed so basically what it will do is it will expand this zip and try to install it and we'll see let let it complete been almost done let's wait for a couple of minutes okay so yeah we have our application over here you just need to double click mm, or you can just do it over here so yeah it's done and it was easy and uh, e basically it was easy to track your download because it's very large and it's taking time on the uh, app store so i hope this video helped you guys and get this done and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye